Joey, the Swans. Speaking of the Sydney Swans, yeah, the last club we're going to have a look at. And we obviously know they lost Jordan Dawson uh, reluctantly, as they said, but he's moved on. And George Hewitt, who I think he's a pretty handy player. I, I wonder how much those two guys going out of the side is going to, going to affect them. Of course, they get Peter Laddams. We spoke earlier in the show. I think it's a really good get for the Swans as that second forward ruck uh, to work alongside Franklin in that forward line. You take a look at their trajectory. It was a real spike, wasn't it, this season? We probably didn't see it coming how well they would go. The question is, with this core group, does the trajectory continue? Do they continue to spike in that, you know, in that trajectory and contend for a flag next year? I'm just wondering, while they've still got their ageing veterans in Franklin and Kennedy and Rampy and Hickey, who had his best year, and Parker still in his prime, can they potentially jag a premiership in the next two seasons with those veterans? Well, what have we got here? I think it's possible. Well, it's, 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 it's two windows. There's a small window, <laughs> as I just said. While they've, got, way. while they've got their... <laughs> How many windows are there? While they've got their veterans, they're a chance to jag one. Yeah. If they can't, I think they've got to be patient and they've Jeez. got to build their next flag okay. around Logan McDonald wow. and Blakey and Campbell and Errol Goulden and McCartan and Robottom, etc. So there's a small little window now. Then there's the bigger one. They're going to sack horse in 2024, 2025. <laughs> well, then the next coach might be very lucky because he'll be taking over a very talented, <laughs> okay. a very talented list. What I've worked out from tonight, Kingy, we've got yeah. 10 teams in the top four next year <laughs> and, we've got, and we've got 12 teams in the top four in 2023. <laughs> Who can play on a wing next year now that, uh, of course, they've lost a wingman? You know, you look at Warner oh, and McInerney and Goulden. Uh, could Goulden play got Wing. Campbell Bra Brayden Campbell could play on a wing. Yeah. McInerney could play on a wing. Dylan Stevens might get an opportunity now to cement a spot on a wing. The Lizard. They've got plenty of talent. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, I've got no concerns about the Swans. Hey, who won the trade period? I'll go to you first, who Ralph. Which club do you think had the best Jeez. trade period? I think North Melbourne got in a very exciting Ruckman, and we've all seen how exciting their number one pick is. I'm really bullish on North. Uh... I think Fremantle have ended up doing really well considering losing Chera. Pick 6, yeah. 8, 19. Can you? He works for him. I, I think that's the dumbest question you've asked in yeah, two years. Well, that's a no I've, asked a lot of, I've asked a lot of dumb questions. No, no it's, look, it's certainly in your top six. <laughs> OK. Uh, no, I don't think anyone wins or loses the trade period because we don't know until next no, year. That's yeah. right. So let, let's, let's all wait and see. But, you know, lists are compiled to win flags. Yep. And if you, if you don't get it right this stage of the year... You don't win I've asked a lot of dumb out. questions. I'm surprised that's What's at the very dumbest? top. Yeah, okay. That's right at the top. I don't know. There might be more dumb questions next year. I think Adelaide won the trade period for what it's worth. I think they had a very, very good trade period. Hey, oh. what well on Kingy, what well on Joey, what well on Ralphie. <laughs> we'll read your stuff on the Herald Sun website and also in the Herald Sun tomorrow. What do you got planned for summer, Kingy? Uh, nothing, Tommy. I'm looking forward <laughs> to getting away from you. And you're, looking for, you're looking forward to getting away from me. All yeah. oh, right, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see you for the uh, AFL National Draft on November 24 and 25. And after that, it's AFLW and uh, have a great night. Thanks for joining us on Trading Day for the last two weeks and for the finale this evening. Have a great night.